So guys, it's going. Today I'm showing this really cool and amazing tweet. It's called Biprotect. I'm pretty sure most of you have heard of it or some of you have heard of it. And if you haven't, this is what I'm here for. And Biprotect has many functions in it. And the main function is to protect specific things on your phone instead of your whole phone like Apple does. So I set up something already before I started recording this video. And it's for a Google app right there. I set up Biprotect on the Google app. And if I actually want to go into Google app, I have to actually put my Touch ID before going in it. So unlike Apple, it just protects your whole phone with Touch ID instead of specific apps. So it's a really cool tweak for it. So all you have to do is just put in your Touch ID and animation just pops up with it and unlocks the actual app. So I think it's pretty cool. Again, just press Google and instead of just going right into it, I have to put in my Touch ID. And that's the main function of it, but it has many other things in the settings here. So when you go into settings here, to actually go into the BioProtect settings, you actually have to put in your Touch ID again, just for, for protection again. It has many settings here. I'm going to be showing you like the main functions of it, and let's just get right into it. For, first of all, you have the kill switch, enable, disable, vibrate on error, and remember unlock session. It just remembers that you already unlocked your phone already. And one part of it that's really cool is the trusted Wi-Fi networks in that if you're already on a Wi-Fi like at home or somewhere you go often, you don't want Bright Protect on like for specific apps where you know you're safe. This just turns it Bright Protect off when you're on a specific Wi-Fi that you put. And then you have the passcode options and if Touch ID doesn't work for some reason at all, maybe like your finger is wet or your finger, something's wrong with your finger, you actually actually put your passcode on it. And I recommend that you don't put the same passcode, your phone, same phone passcode as a Biprotect passcode, because if somebody, somebody already has your phone passcode, they can easily just go into Biprotect and change everything. Then you have the Touch ID, where it's really the same thing as the Touch ID settings and passcode settings for the normal, uh, normal settings panel, but it's for Biprotect. This one's specific for Biprotect only, so it's really the same thing as normal Touch ID and passcode settings, but it's for Biprotect, for specific for Biprotect. Then you have the circle color, and you can actually choose either to have an animation or just a color for Biprotect. So as you can see here, you have the white, black, and really gold. Then you have the animation glyphs down here where you can have the one where you actually just unlock it and it goes circle around. You can choose that. You have the black one where you can choose that. And you have the blue one that I already have. I think that looks really cool already. You don't have to respring or anything. You can choose anything. Then you have the applications, folders, settings, panes, flip switch, and control center items. And that's all the things you can protect. It's just really cool. You can protect really anything on your phone that you need protection from. Folders, the setting panels, anything that you want no one to get in but you. Flip switches and control center items. You can protect anything from Biprotect right here. Do you have something really cool from Biprotect is the caller ID protection. And this just hides the name of the caller when someone's calling you. And until you authenticate it using Touch ID, it won't show the name. So if you don't want others seeing the name that's calling, you can just have this on. So it's really cool. And it wa works on both the native UI and the call bar. Then you have the hide caller on finger up. And this just, when you authenticate the caller and you want to see them, after you lift your finger off the Touch ID, this just hides the name again. So after you lift your finger, if you don't want anyone to see it, that's the main reason of caller ID. If you don't want anyone to see it, this just hides the name of the caller again. Then you have the call notification of the lock screen, and it's highly recommended that you actually turn this off if you have caller ID protection on, because this, it's really like it, there's no point of uh, having color ID on if the notification appears on the lock screen and shows the name because this doesn't work on the lock screen for color ID. So that's really uh, that's really it for the color ID protection. It's a really cool part of BioProtect. You have the power off protection where if you power it off at any time or someone powers, powers it off, BioProtect is still enabled after you power it back on. You have the SIM unlock protection, app switcher, Siri access, icon arrangement. I'm pretty sure that's easy to understand. SIM just unlock just protects that app switcher, protects the app switcher if you double double tap and protects that. 
So, and then the Siri access, if you turn on Siri, it actually protects that before I actually use Siri. Then the icon arrangement, where if you want to change icons, uh, places. So, there's many other things here I'm going to show you. I mean, you can just check it up for yourself. It's a really cool tool. I can actually you get it. It's only 3,000 city. So, that's it for today. If you liked the video, please like me below and please subscribe. And I'll see you later.